up cuties it's your girl Karina and today we are doing a huge ass thrift haul I have accumulated this stuff since the last thrift haul I done and I low-key had to go back to check and that was back in the fall and I think it says four months ago so these are all the items since then let me tell you y'all I am pretty shocked at a specific type of thing that I've been thrifting which you'll see I have so many goodies that I want to share and because I have about 25 items it's gonna be a long video and obviously a lot of these things are stuff that I usually thrift online or when I go thrifting randomly but I actually went thrifting earlier today and I scored so for sure gonna get into those but let's start with items that I've had for a while so this first piece was actually a recent find on Poshmark when I saw it on there I literally screamed I really been searching for this style of dress for a while I have been liking so much stuff on my Poshmark I'm um, insane sometimes I stay up till like 12 in the morning liking stuff and this is one of them where I saw it I I gave her an offer she accepted it and I was like yes this slip dress what I really liked about this was honestly the way the sleeves were structured lace detail like look at that freaking lace there okay, it also has the self tie so you can tie it up yeah she is stunning she is the moment she is one of my favorite finds recently and I ended up paying ten dollars and then five dollars shipping so in total 15 bucks for this gorgeous satin slip dress honey that is a steal for me it's, it is by Jones New York and it is a size 1x next item I actually got when I went thrifting for your wish list and I just couldn't leave it behind because I just knew that this would have been perfect in the summer and it is this white ribbed it's more like a midi dress I really wanted this more for, for sleepwear I just feel like in the summer it gets so hot and a lot of my pajamas are like sweatpants I don't have really anything like shorts or anything like that so I just figured something like this would be perfect so this next item was actually gifted I did a video with Lisa says Ga and they gifted me this dress I have to show it to you because I actually wore it when I did the haul portion of the Albi flea market and a lot of you like really asked about this dress and it's this one it's ivory color it is a maxi length I still have the tags y'all I'm that type of person I keep the tags because I'm like oh She's a little steep. I love the soft ties in the front right here. It's a puff sleeve moment. I love the freaking length of this. And it feels really nice and sturdy. But when I wear it for the video, y'all, I actually wore it backwards because there's this Instagram account that I follow. I think it's called never fully dressed i love the way the i think the owner or the ceo she like always wears dresses like backwards or different ways and i was like i want to try that so i decided to wear it backwards where the zipper's at and have like more of a low cut and I, yeah, I just had to show you because i know a lot of you were asking questions about this dress and it's just so cute i know lisa says god always has sales so if you're interested in any of those items i definitely recommend like signing up for their mailing list because and this item i got on whatnot <laughs> this cute pajama set so it comes with like this tank top which I feel like this is very spring and it is obviously a little mesh but knowing me I definitely just wear like a nude bra underneath or like little covers I am gonna use it to sleep with it came with the matching underwear wow this is the type of stuff I've been really enjoying I really just want to step up like my pajama game i am a person that does get hot while i'm sleeping like whatnot i ended up getting a couple things from the seller which she is one of my favorite whatnot sellers if you're ever interested in who i'm following you could check out my whatnot who i follow but back stitch vintage and she always does plus size lives and i was in one of her plus size lives and it truly has amazing y2k i'm so stunning and she does a lot of her lives pretty affordable unless you know other people are bidding so the brand is called avon intimates and it is a 2x another item that i got on that what not live with backstitch vintage is this skirt that i love and i knew would be perfect for the spring and summer it is this maxi right here and then i believe in the live she told me it was silk and i was like yep bidding on that I just had to get her and she's in such good condition i feel like i've been thrifting a lot lately for like my spring and summer wardrobe i always like to start like a season ahead so and this is by lane bryant and it is a size 18. I feel like we've been seeing a lot of sequins especially like metallic sequences so when i found this item i was like okay perfect honestly kind of trendy i really liked it and i already styled it like two different times and i actually wore it yesterday and i think i found this one at 
community thrift. This fun sequency like skirt, especially as an added statement. I did wear it as a skirt and Loki, I think as a skirt it is pretty long. I would probably like to get this like hemmed a bit. I do have like a whole, a couple items that I've been wanting to take to the tailor. So it's just so much fun y'all. And I feel like on my Pinterest board, I do have a lot of like outfits pinned with this like silhouette. And this is by the brand called Exhilaration. So next I'm gonna go to the items I actually thrifted today. Loki, they are really good and I'm excited about them. Luigi just went on a spontaneous like thrift with me. I honestly got out of the shower and I checked what time savers open like the one that is closest to me it said they open at 10 within 30 minutes I found so many items and actually some of the stuff here Luigi ended up finding it so he did such like an amazing job I'm gonna show you what I ended up getting so the first piece which no surprise something sheer and it is this sheer black top for me tops are always a thing that I always have trouble finding so the fact that I was able to find this and in sheer light and with items like this especially when it comes to like styling I like to style it with like my comfort items so a maxi skirt or even just jeans and when I go thrifting, I try to think of those items of like, okay, I see this item. How can I style it with the things I already have at home? This is by the brand called Bandolino. It's a size extra large. And this one was $5.79. One of the first things I like to check when I go thrifting is the dresses. I saw this and I just thought it was really interesting, the, just the layout of it. And then I tried it over my clothes and it just like made it seem better for me. And I was mentioning to Luis that I love the silhouette of this but also that I want to take off the lining. It is this like gold lacy dress. It has like mesh in between. I think with like knee high boots, like so freaking gorgeous. I would kind of like bring it up and probably style it more like a tube top. So then I just like have my underwear showing if you will. Y'all know anything sheer homegirl is like gimme gimme. But that is a brand right there. The next items are all denim skirts. Luigi is the one who ended up finding all of these freaking skirts so props to him. I told him hey can you check for some denim skirts in these sizes and he's like okay he literally comes to find me like five minutes later and he's like look I found all of these. I took like three different skirts. So the first skirts I found are mini skirts which one is by Faded Glory really nice i really like the pockets of this it's giving me so y2k uh, that's not the awesome part about this skirt it's that it's actually a freaking skirt. yes the shorts are at the bottom <sighs> honestly such a lifesaver so i'm so happy i waited to get this item because i tried it on and she fits so nicely this baby ended up being five dollars and 28 cents it's by the brand faded glory so then we have this skirt which is more like in a darker denim color i really like how this skirt is completely different from the last skirt especially with the color of the denim and it's just a really simple mini skirt and i just feel like this is so will be so nice to pair more with like my darker like tops like especially when it comes to like black i also like the belt loops they're like kind of big guess what she's also a skirt. she got the shorts underneath like ugh. and i just picture this wearing it with like a nice even a tube top a blazer some nice little mules anything like that or just like a tube top by itself in the summer and this is by the brand called saint john's bay and it was seven dollars and 79 cents so this one was a little bit more pricier but so this next skirt i was the most proud of when luigi found it it is a denim maxi skirt luigi found a denim maxi skirt which i feel like has been slightly a little bit more difficult to come across of the fact that he found it today i was just like okay honey like you are a thrift king right now <laughs> i love this color wash it has that like back slit which i really like really excited about this piece by this brand called bridge water studio just in case you want to look for that brand this one was one like one of the best priced items and it was four dollars and 29 cents. there is more items that i did thrift at that thrift store but it's in a different category so i'll just come across those items after but i think it's time now to show you the items that i bought a shit ton of i was actually kind of shocked when i brought these out and i was wait i haven't showed any of these items since i got them y'all i went ham especially on whatnot i went ham with this specific category okay <laughs> i always love thrifting disney so if you're not a disney person sorry the rest of these items 
are all Disney and let me tell you there are over 10 items yeah I just had to let you know I, it's just I feel like I've been going to Disney more and low-key kind of inspired by my friend Evelyn because she's always thrifting Disney so I kind of feel like you know the th thrifting Disney mojo like was more like up there for the first couple months that I like downloaded whatnot I was looking for a lot of Disney specific <laughs> like sellers so this first item I got on whatnot my favorite character from the Disney characters has to be Eeyore like here it is it is this Eeyore top which I feel like it's so hard to find like these kind of style tops a lot of them are more like super like long but this this is more kind of like in the silhouette of a baby tee so it's just Eeyore with this beautiful background and then it says this is how I roll which he's just laying down like that and then in the back it just says Eeyore and he's just like posing so I want to find more like of this style of like tees because I feel like I like wearing these type of tees when I go out to Disneyland so I was kind of happy when I found this one this is by the Disney brand and it's a size 1x so a lot of the Disney items I did thrift is like crew necks I do have a couple here and this is one of them that I got on offer up and I wanted specifically more for like February when you know just kind of like Valentine's Day month and it is this Mickey and Minnie crew neck and even the seller was telling me like hey are you going to the Disney sweethearts night I was like no but I have a Disney pass so I just like <laughs> getting all these different Disney stuff so I didn't end up wearing it in the month of February but I mean it's still such like an iconic like Disney item that I feel like you can wear anytime this is Disney Mickey Mouse but I guess they got it at PacSun he said that his girlfriend didn't like it and she wasn't gonna wear it so that's why he just put it on offer up the next couple Disney items is stuff that I got on whatnot it's actually for Luigi but I thought I would share them here because it is Disney Disney and it is stuff that I actually got these are Luigi's like Disney sweaters that he tends to wear the first one it's this Tigger like gray crew neck I swear I feel like I just love thrifting anything Winnie the Pooh so I feel like you're gonna see a lot of that on here what I when it comes to Disney stuff I try to get a lot of like the Disney brand especially more like vintage Disney so I love when I find like you know the vintage Disney like logos and stuff if you follow my Instagram you'll see a lot of like when we go to Disney and we tend to do like Disney fit checks I was thinking the other day it would be nice if we do like a compilation of some okay so here's another like crew neck that Luis wears I love how it just says Mickey and it's embroidered right here on the sides and then on the bottom it has like this green stripe so it's giving like very 90s like silhouette or style really nice i like the color of this a very dark navy this is by the disney store and it's a size medium i originally was trying to thrift this for me and then i got it and i realized that i got it in a size that just it didn't fit me at. and i think this is like his most worn disney sweater this one right here it has mickey in the front i think it's just so fun and adorable i really enjoy these type of crew necks where it's like they have something in the front and then something in the back so it's just like mickey looky <laughs> this is like one of his go-to's i think it's just of the colors and obviously mickey just in the forefront i originally got this hoping it would be for me but like i said it just was a little too fitted for my life we just developed like a whole like disney Disney wardrobe in the last like couple months it's insane but it's justified because we both love Disney and we're going to Disneyland all the time and we like to Disney bound you know so I think the rest of them are mine this was another item that I got on whatnot and it's this crew neck and this is by the Disney store and it's an extra large this piece I did end up wearing in February and it was something that I wanted to thrift for like you know just Disney in February. I wore it actually as a dress with some tights and I thought it looked really, really nice. But it is this like oversized top. It's just Pooh and Piglet hugging each other and it says the simplest things in life can be so sweet. But I also just like the play on the colorway, the pink and red. Just yeah, so I thought this was a fun piece. And obviously you can wear it anytime, but like for sure I thrifted it for like Valentine's. So, and this is by walt disney world i feel like these whatnot sellers are based in florida and for some reason i feel like a lot of the stuff when it comes to disney in florida people find so many gems thrifting in like florida is a whole nother level let me know if you are from florida and you go thrifting how is it thrifting in florida because i feel like i always find all these amazing creators or sellers that thrift in florida and have like such amazing gems another item that i got on whatnot i'm telling you y'all whatnot can be addicting this is actually by a seller called the wandering fleur but i believe she also posts this on youtube so i'll leave her youtube down below but she had this crew neck on there and i just really loved it 
course the whole double collar this crew neck surprisingly is very like lightweight so it's also just mickey sketched in so many different ways like i thought that was fun it does have a couple stains that i unfortunately couldn't get off this i can picture with like jeans or with a little like black mini skirt i think this would look fun because this is not like a heavy uh, crew neck it's kind of like i don't know if you can tell but it could be a little see-through this is by the mickey unlimited i hope you're still here with me because i know i have a lot of disney stuff <laughs> i really wanted to save it to like towards the end but i also thrifted this for the attention of like February but like I mentioned I think this one you can wear it anytime I'm probably gonna wear it next when I go to Disneyland Pooh and Tigger to get Pooh is getting a giving a rose to Tigger and Tigger has a rose this I like to pair it as a dress because it is super long y'all this is by the Pooh brand which I know like the way I dress for Disneyland isn't for like the whole day y'all because I do end up coming home like I go to Disneyland for like half of the day we come home that's it or sometimes we like come home and take a break and then we go in the evening the type of Disney dressing that I do is probably not for like a full day of Disney because trust me I've been there <laughs> we're on to two of the last Disney items but they are one of the most iconic items I found and the first one I actually found a Macari and it was an interesting story okay I found one on Macari and I found it for like 30 bucks and that was before shipping and I was waiting and waiting and the package got lost so I was so upset because I thought it was like one of the best deals out there specifically for this style of jacket because I was dealing with UPS and then I was dealing with Macari so Macari ended up giving me a credit literally a couple days later I see the same jacket on Kari. This one was a little bit more pricey. I think it was 39. And I was like, okay, I'm putting an offer. And she took it. My Eeyore denim style jacket. Like so comfortable, so warm. And like I said, I specifically really wanted an Eeyore one. So the first one was an Eeyore one, got lost. So whoever freaking found it is freaking lucky. Said it was delivered, but it was not delivered to my house. So I feel like they delivered it to another home. Found the same jacket again and 10 bucks more but i was like i'm okay with it because when i try to find these jackets now like on makari or in other websites these are going up for like a hundred dollars now so i was just like okay i feel like i found mine at a pretty good time it's by the disney catalog and it is a size extra large and then this last one was probably the most expensive i spent on a disney item but i was talking to my friend evelyn because she thrifts a lot of these pieces a lot and she told me that it was a pretty good deal and it is this jacket that i wore recently to one of my disney trips and I found it on offer up for 80 bucks so I thought that wasn't bad and it is this leather jacket it says wild one and it has like this black and red colorway even the yellow I think is really nice of it it's Mickey like this and it says Mickey Mouse wild one and it looks like he's like racing freaking iconic and I was telling my friend because it doesn't have the Disney tag but she said is that it's by the Jerry is it Jerry it's J JH I don't know the full name but I know the initials is JH she's like I literally own the same jacket and I was like oh my god we can be twins and now we are moving to the last category I know y'all this is a long one but I mean I love long thrift haul the last couple items is accessories so one of the first accessories I want to show you is this freaking belt that I got on Poshmark when it comes to belts I'm so afraid to thrift them I just don't know if they're gonna fit i did measure my waist to kind of make sure and i'm so glad i did because it is this like belt right here i feel like we've been seeing these belts everywhere recently and it's like this disc belt and i really love this look at the freaking buckle on this and then in the middle they're like little flowers i got this in like a nice tan color because they did have different like black ones but i really like this because i feel like this kind of just stands out when you put it next to jeans or next to like neutrals and stuff uh, i think the whole like boho 60s 70s vibe has been really in and i think this belt has like been everywhere recently bought this one for like nine dollars on poshmark and then i went back to see my likes because i found so many that i liked and they were all like sold and then the next jewelry i actually got it when i went thrifting today i've heard i think lenny ozark was one of the first people i heard talk about this but she was talking about bangles or just, your arms have so much like jewelry it brought me back to the time when i was in like freshman you remember this like you were raving those freaking colored bracelets that you were where I, this whole hand right here was stacked up to here with all these different bracelets i literally was showered with it like i wouldn't take it off tan that i had i, I look here i don't even think it smelled nice <laughs> I want to see if I can find a photo, but I'm like stacked. I low-key am down for that, but I wanted to do it more of like just 
more of like bangles, you know. But I found this set right here, which for me, I love when it has the stretch because I do have just wider wrist. Want to get better at accessorizing because I think it just looks fun and elevates an outfit. And then I saw this one, this gold one, and I liked it because it has this. Like I said, I didn't want to get one where it was too tight and I couldn't fit my hand. This one was on sale and it was $3.99. Then I saw this one right here with the pearl details and I've been obsessed with like silver and gold jewelry and I like to mix and match them as well. Easy to put on and off. The thing is I can't wear it for long because my eczema, I get irritated with metal. Next piece, which I want to make into a necklace actually and it is this Rosario. It looks like this. I love the big pendant and then obviously Guadalupe right there. I'm not religious, but in my culture, as a Latina, I was raised Catholic. I don't have any ties to the religion, but this is very embedded in my culture. I think it's meant to be a bracelet because it's so short. So I'm planning to add some ribbon on the back of this and make it into a choker. And I just think it's really pretty. It makes me feel really tied to my culture as well. So I thought this would be really nice. Lastly, I've been really into silver jewelry and earrings. Anything with butterflies really reminds me of my niece. So I just always feel like the need to thrift them. And it is these butterfly earrings. How cute are these? Do you wanna ask my sister if she would wear them? Because I feel like for her, she has a closer tie to butterflies. So I'm gonna see if she's interested in these. If not, I'm gonna keep them because are just so freaking cute those were the accessories that i thrifted today and then i do have two pairs of shoes i've been really into florals like flower chokers flower accessories floral dresses and so something that i've been really wanting to find is a floral shoe i got these on poshmark and then i tried them on and this is a reoccurring theme with me i get them i try them on and then they start to break these are the shoes that i thrifted on poshmark i've been really into like the whole pointed like heel i actually just want to find one without the like flower detail here but i feel like she never wore these like they're literally brand new she even put them in the box i don't know where i found this information from they say when it comes to shoes that if you don't wear them at all they're more like likely to break down because they haven't been like structurally moved in or you know when you first bought them then you know when you buy a used shoe that has been like worn in have like signs of the of it peeling or when i put the shoe on look the bottom of this fell and then here's the other one when i put it on it like started cracking i have to take these now to my shoe repair pace but i feel like i'm always constantly taking stuff to him when i thrift shoes online so that's the thing with like thrifting shoes for me it's mind going to take it to the shoe repair place it does feel like i can never like get a break with thrifting shoes like sometimes i like to thrift a shoe and i'll have to fix it you know that's of course first world problems for sure and then the last shoes i ended up thrifting i got them when i went to the lisa, lisa says golf sample sale and i've been wanting to get these shoes ever since i saw my friend like wear them her name's francine mostly just waited because it was pretty hefty so when i saw these on the sample sale i just had to get them it is these boots right here they're kind of like a platform boot when i saw them at the sample sale they were like 50 I don't know why I don't expect things before I take them. There is like a few little scratches and stuff, but on one of these shoes, on both of these shoes, the bottoms was like coming off. And I'm, no wonder they were probably at the sample sale, but I still ended up paying like 50 bucks, which I think these originally sell for like 150, but still I was like, what the heck? <laughs> like sample shoes for like them to be selling it with this off. I was like, maybe that's why. Get to my shoe repair person and he added glue and fixed the bottom of it. So now they're in perfect condition. I need to get better at like checking my shoes before I thrift it. And that's just another thing I need to start expecting more of the items because sometimes I get too excited that I forget to check the situation of the shoe. The camera says I've been filming for an hour and 25 minutes. I don't know how long the edit's gonna be. This is the last item and it's one of the items that is the most expensive item but the most like sentimental item for me. Actually a birthday gift that I gave myself. I'm the type of person who loves tech. Like if I'm gonna spend my money, I'm always gonna spend my money in tech. I love all forms of cameras. <laughs> like I have a collection of cameras and truly a connection that I have with my father is like he left me all his like film cameras before he passed it was like his graduation gift to me he always used to record us with his VHS camcorder and we have so many different like little cassettes of film and so many film roles like my dad was a person who was always taking 
film, photography, spending his money on photography. He loved cameras as well. So like for me, I felt like that's something he passed on to me. This item is something I've been wanting to get and I ended up getting it on eBay. I think by the time I post this, it's been past my birthday, but today actually it's March 22nd. So my birthday is not till next week, but I've been pre-filming a lot. So that's why you were seeing this video a little bit later. It came with the charger here, the battery and one memory card. But y'all, this camera, so sick. I love it. It's a camera that has been discontinued, I think since like 2012. So they don't make these anymore. And I think that's why they're kind of expensive. I don't even want to tell you the price because it is pricey. It is this Canon Vixa Mini. And you're like, what does that look like? That look like a walkie-talkie, like a phone? No, honey, it is a freaking camera. Okay, This is one of the first like vlogging cameras that came out back in like 2011, 2012. I just turned it on. Here's the lens, but the cool thing about this is that you can lift it like this and look, you're filming. I don't know if you see yourself, but look, you can obviously like see yourself like this, record words, so you're like this, but you can also just have it down. And like, if you're recording, you could look like this, or you can look like, look down into the recording. And this is a fisheye lens. Love wide angle, <laughs> like that is my favorite angle. The camera I'm filming this, my wide angle lens. So I'm gonna record some so you can see an example. <laughs> okay, so this like not even like far and it's super wide angle. Like you can see everything, say hi. And you can see like my big pile of my filming. <laughs> And it also comes with a stand. I feel like I got it for a good price, um, especially after the other prices that I saw that I just had to act quickly. I even kind of like offered, but he already knew that he was giving like the cheapest price. So he didn't really like accept my other offers. So I ended up paying like his asking price, which to be honest was like the cheapest that I found. That was the most expensive item that I thrifted recently. All right, everyone, that was everything that I thrifted. Y'all, this thrift haul was massive. There was definitely a lot of Disney, but I feel like I had a very good variation of different items here. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if thrift hauls are your jam as well. Trust me, I love thrift with me's, but there's something about having a collective haul that just hits baby. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a like and if you are new, please hit that subscribe button down below. Um, thank you so much for always taking the time to watch the vid, support your girl, means so much to me. And if you wanna keep up with me, you can follow my other social media platforms, Living Ask Karina on Instagram, TikTok, whatnot and also my pinterest is linked down below where i've been just having so many different inspo when it comes to just outfits but also makeup that is all loves thank you so much once again and i'll see you soon with a new video bye